Hey, what's up you guys? This is Christian from Apple Helper 120 and today I'm going to show you how to save memory, just one method of how to save memory on your iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPad. So first to get started off we're going to go into the App Store. Then you're going to want to type in Dropbox, exactly how you think it's spelled, D-R-O-P-B-O-X. Uh, then it's right there, it should, look, it should be a blue icon and it looks like an opened box I believe uh, then you're gonna install it then you're gonna go into the app and it will ask you to uh, make an account so you're gonna wanna sign up make an account um, then what the app actually does is it stores all your photos and videos from your photos app um, onto this app so you can just delete them from your photos and they'll just be stored in here and if the app get if this app gets deleted, you can still have your pictures. All you need to know is your username and password. Just reinstall it. Um, and if you want a photo in here, back into your camera roll, just go to the photo that you want, and then you're gonna want to hit this button right down here. So hit that, and then this will come up, and then it will say Save to Photo Library. Click that, and then it will go to your camera roll so yeah it's very easy to use actually there's not much you even do you just kinda go into the app and it'll upload them automatically for you so then you can just delete them from the photos and it really does save a lot of memory I use it all the time uh, that's all I have to say thank you for watching please comment like and subscribe